Alright, and welcome to another Astron Reviews. And today we have, in celebration of the Calabunga Collection, the Walmart exclusive Playmates 2 pack of Leonardo and Rocksteady. This is the Classics Editions of the characters. And, uh, well, let's get them out and check them out. Got a very similar packaging to that which NECA uses, which I'm sure that's on purpose. zip tied in. That's fairly secure. Leonardo is my favorite turtle, hence why I'm starting with this one. That should be about all they need. Yeah, handy dandy display bases. Now, I've never looked at the classics before. One of Leo's swords. Got the other one. And warped. Eh, I can heat those. I'll fix them later. Now, I got these thinking they were in scale with the NECA Toon line figures. I have a sneaking suspicion they're actually not. Uh, Shredder might be. So let's take a quick look here. Heads on a ball joint. Can't look down. Look up a little bit. Spin 360. Soft rubber on a bandana. That'd probably straighten. Nah, kind of. <laughs> Full range of movement in the shoulder. Upper bicep cut. Double jointed elbow. Hampered by pad. Swivel at the wrist, and if I remember, yep, his fingers are posable individually in theory. Not gonna break that. Hmm. There you go.
good shade of blue on him. That's an interesting way to do that joint. Hmm. Kind of like that. And not quite the full Van Dam Or Monty, but you can kind of get something sort of like that. Get him to it. <laughs> A kick. Ball joints are friend. Just keep telling yourself that. Okay. So yeah, un universal hips. Cut at the upper thigh, double jointed knee, forward and back on the ankle, kind of a rocker, much you can get ball joint to give you, and wiggly waggly toes. Not much paint on him, uh, everything's molded in the color it needs to be, uh, paint here on the swords, paint around the scabbards, obviously the eye, mouth, and the initial detail on the belt. Bring his fingers in to hold his weapons. Maybe. Mm. I'm starting to see why a lot of people prefer the NECA Ultimates figures and Toon figures. I would like to get my hands on the ultimate ones, or tune, either one. Maybe even Super 7. That's probably what I want to go with on April O'Neil. Attaching to his base. I can tell you he's loose enough that he wouldn't hold a pose such as a, a flying kick or anything like that, or high kick. Scabbards do hold pretty well. Hmm. These fingers are going to be problem. Okay, so there we have Leonardo, leader of the turtles, and I believe oldest of the brothers. And now we have Shredder's henchman, Rock Study. Always liked him better than Bebop. Of course, my favorite enemy outside of Shredder was always Krang. And we're going to look at him in a future video. I have the NECA one. Sculpted in, huh? Hmm. You know, I think I'll just leave that. Yeah, oh yeah. That looks dumb. So his articulation compared to Leo's. It seems basically the same. Double jointed elbows. Wrist swivel, no flexion, maybe. Oh yeah, it should have flexion in it. There we go. Give him his uh, machete. Yeah, fairly limited at the hips. Double jointed knee, tumbered by the sculpt, boot cut, swivel, nothing on the ankles. And he does feel rather small, actually. I always kind of thought the rock study was bigger. Now, if I get a NECA turtle, I will compare it to. The Playmates ones, I feel like they're a little big. But we will see. 
uh, painting detail rock study. He's got a little bit more paint, different paint apps. Got shotgun shells on his bandolier. Bandolier appears to be molded. No, surely not. Yeah, guess it's so. Vandalier's molded. Grenade is molded in in green, from what I can tell. I can't see any real paint on that. If it is, it's fairly decent. Does match the helmet and the band on his arm, which these could all be separate pieces. Matter of fact, I'm sure of it. So these are the same plastic. No detail on the boots. They could stand a wash. Actually, a whole pair of could. Head, ball joint, and he can do that. No giggity giggity. I can make him possessed. Uh, turtle shells got detail painted on them. Belts painted. Uh, shirt appears to be molded, which means this gray is painted. Not a bad figure. I mean, if you can catch them on clearance at Walmart right now, or other retailers, that's about how I'd suggest getting them. <clears throat> I think I got these for 23 off Amazon to complete the set. I had to order two sets. No, wait. I got him at Walmart. He's 25. I think it rung up less than that. I'm almost sure of it. So, this has been the video for Leonardo and Rocksteady Playmates. Uh, leave your thoughts in the just comments. What you all think of these figures. I'm quieter on these uh, simply because I don't really know what to say about them. They're not exactly what I was looking for, but they are so much better. Oh, let's do a comparison. I got something I can compare. Complete with a base. So, I still have one of my old original turtles from when I was a kid. Amazingly, I have one. It is a Leonardo. I thought I had a morphing one, too. And it's probably in a box somewhere else. But my Samurai Armor Leo, so here he is with them. Got a 3D printed sword, because it is long since been gone. So I printed him up one. And I'll paint it eventually. Hmm. Might have to see if I can find some stiffer resin. It's wanting to bend, just like all of Leonardo swords. 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 <laughs> but anyway, here he is. You know, when you look at him with an original figure, they look... They look about right. For 7-inch scale, 6-inch scale. But really, I think it's going to come down to how they look with the human characters. And not having... Um... Not having the NECA versions really gives me a hindrance on comparing them. Because, to be honest, I forgot these were Playmates releases. I thought they were NECA. And then once I started, well, might as well complete the set. And here they are with a Masterverse figure. This is a custom Savage she man which has been made into Conan. Work in progress. So, yeah, I mean, on a 7-inch scale, I, I guess they're right. But I'm not real sure what scale they're going for, because I always figured Rock Study would be a lot bigger. At least, I don't know, 50% bigger than what he is. And here they are with a modern Voyager Transformer. Got a bulkhead. So you get an idea of their size, depending on what you collect. And with that, I want to call this video an end. 
please like and subscribe. Feel free to comment. And I'll see you next time.